My wife is starring in this wonderful play, so I'm excited to see it tonight and support her and it. I love Sarah Rule, and I, I was in a play of hers, and uh, I, I just think she's a you know, very inventive, innovative, poetic playwright. It's got such an amazing title, makes me blush. The vibrator play. I love wa you know walking down the street and have people call it. Oh, have you seen that? And then they sort of go, you know, the next room. Like that. That's the provocative part of the title. I think it really gets people interested in it. I think then when they get here, they're surprised that it's you know it's not really a play about sex. It's about you know it's a costume period dramedy. The congestion in your womb is causing your hysterical symptoms, and if we can release some of that congestion and invite the juices downwards. Your health will be restored. There was this amazing book called The Technology of Orgasm by Rachel Mames, and this was a very unlikely book, and she traces the whole history of the vibrator, and I hadn't realized that um, that doctors used to treat women with hysteria with vibrators, nor did I realize that before the vibrator they treated them manually. Um, and so they were really excited when this invention, this time-saving invention, came about. It's a kind of glorious, loopy play about people's relationships and people going to the doctor to be cured of hysteria by this, what now seems insane way of doing it. Though it is a vibrator play and it's certainly about electricity and you know the treatment of hysteria in the 19th century, to discover that it's really about this relationship between a doctor and his wife was to me so personal and touching. I think the wonderful thing about the title and the and all of the things that you think you know about it before you come to see it is that most of your expectations are probably going to be confirmed at some level but that that's not actually what the play is about at all. This play I think has great heart and um, it has an uh, it's so surprising the twists and turns that it takes you on and um, I think the characters are so rich and they're not what you think they would be on the surface. There's a feel in it that it's like Ibsen's A Doll's House, but in this case she doesn't leave. You know, she recommits, the two of them recommit to reforming their marriage and finding out what it truly means. I just love that there's a play that roots for marriage. It doesn't root for the lady to go run off with someone, but that roots for her to work on her relationship with her husband. I think it's so beautiful. I've seen it in front of a lot of audiences, and I don't think people really think it's shocking at all. I think they think it's delightful. I think at first that I was embarrassed by it, but the embarrassment was what made it intriguing to me, and it was something that I wanted to explore. I kind of love the fact that, that Sarah sort of, I think purposely, kind of baits people that way and, and draws you in through the humor that is there in spades, but kind of just opens you up then for the real emotional content of the play. She opens people's hearts with the humor so that they're able to receive the message. And that to me is what's beautiful. It opens your heart when you laugh. And I don't know if people would be able to fully appreciate the end had they not had that kind of broken open. I just, I think she's so brilliant. I think it's a complicated play. I mean, I think it's a play with more than one idea in it. So I hope they come away with an experience and, and that they're able to kind of digest it and, um, and talk about it afterwards. One not to be missed, I think. I think everyone needs to see this play. They are going to laugh. They are going to have a really fun time. They're going to be surprised. And then ultimately they're going to be moved and hopefully they'll leave wanting a dialogue with their partner if they come with their partner or, or wanting to be to seek a partner who will see the best in them. That's what I hope.